Hello Hammy Time here. In this video I'm going to show you the custom made bin cage that I made for my dwarf hamster Gimli. This is a three level cage with a rooftop deck. I made it from large file storage boxes or bins and critter trail cages. So first I'll do a demo of it so you can see the outside and the inside and then I'll follow up with all of the details. The top is Gimli's rooftop deck. He spends a lot of time up here. It is definitely his favorite level. The attachments are from Critter Trail cages. I buy secondhand cages from thrift stores that typically are incomplete, so I have a huge bin of Critter Trail parts. The wire pieces are cut from Critter Trail cages and a standard wire hamster cage. Every level has a wheel and a water bottle. So now I'll show you the inside. The file boxes are not attached to each other. They just sit on top of each other which makes it very easy to break down when I need to clean them once a week. The lids are attached by the snap latches on the sides. In this video demo, I unsnap the lids before removing the boxes, but it's not necessary to do that to lift off the boxes. All it does is unlatch the lids. Starting with the rooftop, I simply lift off the wire walls and remove the wheel and critter bath. The tubes are attached to connectors on the top and underside of the lid, which I will explain later. The stick-on lights on the lids were there only for filming this video. Inside of the top level has critter trail tubes attached to the walls with velcro. Attached to the critter trail tubes is a Rubbermaid container that just happened to fit. This is Gimli's favorite place to nest. The second level has a tube connector attached to the underside of the lid and the top level has a tube connector on the inside bottom of the bin. This allows me to simply lift off the bin without having to unsnap or remove the tubes. The second level has a puzzle playground and critter trail tubes attached to the walls with Velcro. The mushroom house is Gimli's second favorite place to nest. The side attachments to the top and second level are places he likes to store and eat his food. The level has a critter trail open spiral tube that I like because it looks easier to climb, which should be good for Gimli when he gets older. This level also has a puzzle playground and tubes attached to the walls with Velcro. There is a small igloo house that I've only seen him nest in once. The wheel attachment on this level is his second favorite wheel. The rooftop wheel is his favorite. The cages sit on a plastic mat made from dollar store cutting mats. The mat allows me to slide the cage out to change the water bottles. The playpen attaches to the bottom cage door with Velcro. Gimli likes to come out here, but he prefers his rooftop. I designed this cage to both stack and sit on the floor in a row. The side connectors are lined up to attach tubes. This may be necessary when Gimli gets older. If I put them on the floor, I would remove the tubes attached to the lids and close them up with Critter Trail connector caps. Here I'm showing you how I take off and put on the attachments. These are Critter Trail parts, so it works the same way. Top, I cut a hole in the lid and screwed in KT Puzzle Playground connectors 
to the top and underside of the lid. The tube inside and the tube on top are separate tubes that connect to the connectors and not each other. The wire walls are from a Critter Trail playpen that I cut to fit. This rooftop was not in the original design, but when I noticed the grooves on the lid around the edges, I got the idea to use them as a track for the playpen. The wheel is attached with Velcro so it doesn't slide around when Gimli is using it. The top level has a hole cut out on the bottom and has a puzzle playground connector screwed in on the inside of the bin. One short curved tube connects to it. The side holes have screwed in connector pieces cut from critter trail cages. I used a hot knife to cut the connectors, windows, and holes out. I used a soldering iron to make the holes for the screws and I used a dremel to sand down the edges. When I put in the screws, I put the head of the screws on the inside of the bends to keep Gimli from injuring himself. All of the levels have holes cut out of the lid and bottom of the bins with connectors attached to the inside. The wire windows and doors were cut out with a dremel. This is a top view of the lid so you can see that only the lid on the top level has a connector on the outside. The bins I used are Room Essentials file boxes from Target in the US. I don't know if they're available internationally or not. This file box comes in two sizes. I use the large one, which is 17 by 14 by 12. I chose it because I like the reinforced corners and the boxy shape of it. The straight sides allow for the attachments to fit properly. These pictures show you the size comparison to the critter trail cages I used. Before I cut out the windows and holes, I made templates to fit the pieces I used. I made sure to make the doors and connector holes low enough for Gimli to easily walk out. When he was in the critter trail cages, the doors were too high for him even with bedding in it, so I had to make a bridge for him to climb up to get out. These doors are low enough for him now. This is the puzzle playground that I used. It comes with two tube connectors which I used to connect the tubes inside the bins that give access to the other levels. I used six connectors so that was three boxes. The playground cost under $10 and I got one playground for free so I spent under $20 for these. I needed these connectors because they snap tightly onto a puzzle piece that gives me something to put the screws through to hold them in place. This is a photo montage of all the attachments so you can get a closer look if you want. So I think that's it. I think I covered everything and I hope it made sense. If you want to try to make this and have any questions, feel free to ask. The things I like most about this cage is the space saving stacking feature, the fun critter trail attachments, the easy breakdown without having to unsnap the tubes, and most of all, the rooftop deck that Gimli enjoys so much. I hope that this inspired you and helped you with your cage ideas. I'm going to leave you now with some video of Gimli enjoying his rooftop. Thank you for watching.